Foreign policy! <laughs> no drinks in my Uber! Whoa. Standard policy! She threw my drink? Yeah. No drinks in my car. It says on the app. I didn't. It's not that serious. Serious enough to me. Tell me these don't stink. Bro! You spilled underwear on my face! <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Tell me these don't stink. Bro! You spilled underwear on my face! <laughs> I want to see if they stink. I'm asking a question. They reek! Alright, well, that's why I'm taking them to get washed. What's wrong with you, dude? <laughs> that shit never happened at all. <laughs> There's no chance they just ripped my freaking shirt. You didn't have any tissues in here. I'm pulling over, you're getting out. I ain't getting out for nothing. Get out! How we doing? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Bruh, you remember me? Quitter, quitter, you were a bench sitter. You quit football after me. You smell like jockstrap. <laughs> yeah, I remember you. You driving Uber now? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I remember you, bro. You tried to Uber now? <laughs> yeah, I remember you, bro. You tried to Uber now? <laughs> no way, bro. There's no fucking way. There's no way. How do you boss? You gotta be kidding me. Remember me, bro? Made you quit football after I made you spend my jock strap? Yeah, I remember you, bro. You just an Uber, though? Yeah, part time. <laughs> Wanna say I'm surprised, but I'm not. Put it in reverse and take me there. I'm in reverse. Still the same, aren't you? Yo! What? What? No! <laughs> Get out of my car immediately. I just found out I had COVID! Get out now, dude. I can't even go my fucking I got COVID! I got COVID now, probably. Yellow! What? No! Dude! I just found out I had COVID. Get out of my car now. You won't even take me home, I just found out COVID-19. Bro! You swipe a bugger on my face! It's a bad habit. That's sick! <laughs> Bro! You swipe a bugger on my face! Some bad habits. That's sick. I'll tip you on the app. I'm sorry. I'm Nasty creature. <laughs> Yo! What's wrong with you? I'm freaking sick. I'm the flu. That's right. Blue. Why are you so loud? That's sick. Yeah, yeah, guess who they let out early? Yeah, yeah, they sorry. Bro, be quiet. I was be I'm trying to draw it. This dude just told me to be quiet. Shut up! Bro, you don't you're even on know my who you're talking to. I'm talking to somebody. Get out! I'm gonna have to let you go. Yeah, I'm going back. What? Stop! You don't like kosher? You ain't kosher, and you ain't BLP! So I can't like an artist and listen to him? Not like that! Alright, I'm about to uh, cue it now. But. Fuck off, that boy a bimbo getting 
low, they playing low. Oh! Oh! This is fire! No! Are you crazy? You trying to get us killed? That's my freaking drink. Stay woke. It's Grimace's birthday shake. It's killing people. It's satire. It's complete satire, dude. Hi right, guys, we are in front of the infamous Waffle House right here, and uh, me and my partner here are looking to run a little fight club. Winner gets an eighth, and the loser has to do dishes for a night graveyard shift, so, uh, he revving it. You hear that? That shit weak! That shit fucking weak! Uh, no, uh, I've actually, me and my partner here, we run like a couple like local fight clubs and stuff like that. And I was wondering if you guys would be interested in the opportunity. Winner gets a free eighth and the loser has to work a night shift, a uh, graveyard shift here. But you know, like with all the Waffle House controversies and all that, we figured that it was a business opportunity here, so. Yeah, you want me to ask her? Yeah, so basically we're we run a couple like little local fight clubs and stuff like that And I'm sure you know about like the Waffle House like meme where there's people that are always fighting and all that I got a golden opportunity What if we hosted local fight clubs here after hours and then the winner gets a free eighth and 50 bucks and the loser has to work a graveyard on the dishes? Um, we would have to get that approved. You think? Through our, okay. Through our corporate office. Okay, thank you. You guys have a good one. Alright guys, so right now we're at Dick's. As you guys already know, those servers, the waitresses, the waiters, they straight up Dick's out here. So I thought it'd be funny for me and Pillwee to pop up in here, you know what I'm saying? See what they put on my hat. I need everybody to go drop a comment right now what you think is going to get put on my hat before it's put on. <laughs> Oh, I got you. I won't take it off. I bet. I bet. I got the fucking dome pieces. <laughs> what the fuck does my hat say, bro? All right, guys. So as you can see, it's insert dicks up here. But we're on our way to go get a Mike Tyson tattoo. Yeah, I think it might be one of these two, yeah. Is it that one? Yeah, 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 that one. So it's this one? Yep. Okay. Okay. Alright y'all, I just want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart from all the support that you guys show me and my dude Adam and Zick. Drop a like on the video, drop a comment your favorite part. I appreciate y'all so much and uh, yeah, Dwayne, we out of here out of PCB. I'll see y'all next time. Rio Spiel.